everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ruthie and I do a lot of a mixture of everything. Sorry if you hear my kids in the background. This is real life. I have two boys. So anyways, I'm going to be sharing with you guys some duck and go crock pot meals. So I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to be showing else. I guess we'll show it when we show it. I don't know. You see by the thumbnail and um, title of this video. But I know today I'm doing the marinade chicken. Um, I've heard Tiffany Beeson talk about it a bunch of times. So making a few adjustments from her recipe. I'm going to dump everything into my crock pot. I'm not going to sear the chicken or anything like that. Um, just because I truly personally enjoy when chicken just kind of falls apart. I know it can, can look like mush sometimes after it being in the crock pot. I personally just prefer my chicken like that. I just like it more tender and softer. I don't know. Um, okay guys, so we're going to be making the marinade chicken first. Um, this is the screenshot from Tiffany Beeson's video itself. I'll try to leave her link down below for her video too so you guys can check it out. Um, I'm not making this recipe exactly how she did, so you can just make it how she does or just kind of follow along. Um, I just took a little bit of cooking spray and I just sprayed it in my crock pot, a little bit of olive oil, salt, pepper. So I'm just using one tablespoon of minced garlic. She uses fresh garlic, but I don't have that. I'm just using what I have. I go ahead and add about half a cup of whole milk. Um, you can use heavy whipping cream. I only had whole milk on hand, so that is what I went ahead and used. I did about half a cup of sun-dried tomatoes, give or take. Um, I just kind of eyeballed it. Um, I know she uses thyme in her recipe, but I don't have thyme, so I just use Italian seasoning in place of it, and it was delicious. I went ahead and chopped one whole onion. Again, this recipe, I know she uses it when she like sears the chicken and everything like that. I didn't have time for that, so I literally just threw everything into the crock pot, and I promise you it came out just as good, and I actually really enjoyed this, and so did my family, and I'll definitely be making this again. So I know also she uses about um, three-fourths a cup of chicken broth. I actually just used water in place of it. It was just as good, and it had still a lot of flavor. So I went ahead and actually cooked this on high for four hours, and then about three and a half hours in, I actually went in and used a little bit of cornstarch to help thicken up the sauce. Um, and it worked perfectly. And then I kind of just gave it a good mix. And then I actually added um, Italian styled shredded cheese. And I just let it melt for the extra 30 minutes. And it was perfect, you guys. It tasted so good. I love this so much. Like, I already want to eat it again. I made this recipe with rice and broccoli just like Tiffany Beeson did. My family really enjoyed this. I really enjoyed this. This meal is definitely going to be within rotation of meals that we have as a family. It was so good, so easy, and just so flavorful. I definitely love this recipe, so definitely give it a try. So next meal is my absolute favorite. It's called cracked chicken. I've made this so many times. Um, I've talked about it so many times on Instagram and on YouTube, and it's definitely a favorite. Um, I just go ahead and spray my crock pot with some cooking spray, add my chicken. Um, I just use some ranch seasoning. You can use a packet, but I just have the big container because we love ranch seasoning so much. <laughs> so I go ahead and use that, and then some bacon bits. Fresh bacon would definitely taste a lot better, more flavorful, but I'm a little little lazy for that. One block of cream cheese. I let it cook on low for about seven hours, um, and then I give it a good shred. Um, definitely pay attention to it because I kind of burnt mine just a tad. So I cook it on low. Once done, I add um, a, about a cup of a shredded cheese, let it melt, mix it all up. And then I always have it with Hawaiian rolls. My grocery store didn't have Hawaiian rolls this week, so we're just using it on Hawaiian toast. And it's so good, you guys. It tastes so good. Like, I'm obsessed with cracked chicken. Okay, now for some barbecue brown sugar pulled pork. This is so good, so easy. I love my crock pot for pulled pork, you guys. So I go ahead and spray my crock pot. I used to use the bags all the time, and I still love them, but honestly, it's just so much easier to spray it. 
um, and then just clean it out after. Um, so yeah, I just go ahead and spray it. I add my two pieces of orc loins from Costco and I'm adding just about a half a cup of brown sugar, half a cup of water, a couple teaspoons of minced garlic. I'm using about half a bottle of this honey barbecue sauce. I'm gonna let this cook on low for about eight hours. And then when it comes time to it, I'm just gonna go ahead and shred this chicken. Um, I have this meat, I don't even know what the heck this thing is called, but I love it, I use it for everything. But it shreds my chicken perfectly every time in the crock pot, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use that. And basically, we will eat this on its own with a side, or we'll eat this on sandwiches, on pizza, anything like that. It is so good, and sometimes I like to make this and just kind of keep it in the fridge to do those meals in the future or for lunches. Okay, you guys, last meal is a Mediterranean crock pot chicken. Um, so I saw, I believe it was Julia talking about this recipe, and I can't remember if it was her, but it caught my eye and I was like, oh my God, that sounds delicious. I love Mediterranean food. I love feta. I love balsamic. And I was like, let me try this chicken. So basically I just took my crock pot, sprayed it, of course, added my chicken. I added just some salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, added some basil and dried parsley to the recipe as well. I know she mentioned oregano, but I didn't have oregano, so I didn't add that. Um, and I just gave it a good mix, added about five tablespoons of water, and then a few tablespoons of balsamic vinegar. I went ahead and cooked this on high for about four hours. Went ahead and served this with a hummus dressing, some chickpeas, and then I made this like feta salad with cucumber, red onion, tomatoes, balsamic, and feta. And we just had that on top. And I had mine as a salad. Um, my mom had it as a burrito, and then Cameron also had it as a salad. I hope you guys enjoyed these videos. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.